Hello, my name is Jeremiah Garner. Uh, this is FTT 114. Today's date is February 29th, 2024. Um, this is week two assignment, building the press. So this is what I use to cut this stuff up and whatnot. I'm new with the table saw. I just had this gifted to me, so. <laughs> I uh, looked up a whole bunch of videos on it, the owner's manual. I, I did my uh, best to know how to use it. So I got these two pieces. Got that. Got this. And it's all... I'm pretty proud, to be honest with you. I uh, feel a whole lot safer with this freaking thing now, to be honest with you. Now that I know how to run it. I took it apart, <laughs> put it back together just so I know how it works and a whole bunch of YouTube videos. But you know what? I'll take it for what it is. Uh, we'll definitely be able to. This isn't quite perfect width wise, but it'll work just fine for the hinges going on it. So I'll check back in with you when I'm done. Sorry I didn't film me cutting it. I don't. <laughs> I wanted to just focus on cutting and make sure I don't hurt myself. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See ya. We are now in the workroom. You, know, you can tell I got my boots and freaking everything else in here. And one hell of a messy desk. <laughs> I'm taking three classes at SDI right now. So I got a little bit of everything going on, but free. <laughs> this is the one I messed up on. So this is the recut doing better. Um, got one clamp up there weighing it down and one pressing it down. Use some wood glue. I don't think you really care, but this is what I used put my lines in there clamped it down you gonna leave it there to dry as I start the next process all I'm gonna do to go ahead and explain it is put the other piece up on top drill some pilot holes once this is good to go and uh, start screwing things down and of course up on the top of this piece well not on top of this but the piece I put on top of this is gonna be for the door hinge uh, for the heavy-duty door hinges I got so we have reached the first problem. <laughs> first off, this is unplugged. I don't want any freaking accidents happening. That's where I cut everything out of as safely as I could. So, I'm, I, <laughs> you know, there's memes of like the Germans throughout like the course of history <laughs> overdoing things, wanting to just do the utmost, making sure it's as solid as possible. Maybe I fall in line with that. I don't <laughs> I wanted to put two of these freaking heavy duty hinges on it and they are stout as all get out. I really only need one, but I wanted to put two because that, that's just how I am, I suppose. <laughs> and freaking look at this. Uh, it's only going to be able to fit one and that's fine. I am somewhat salty. <laughs> I guess I have an extra door hinge just laying around. I guess if I really wanted to, it ain't worth it. I'm not going to do this, but just for, you know, the giggles, I could not screwing now that's gonna bug me too much i also thought well i can cut that way i can make it now it's still this part's still gonna be hanging off and that's i can't cut that off so is what it is boys we're just gonna put it right there like so and that is how we are gonna go about it of course it's gonna be more like this but that will be perfectly good enough so that's where I am on the project so far. So, let me grab this over here again. I measured it out. I know that line, please, please ignore that line. I measured it out to get it as center as I could on that and marked where I need to put these pilot holes. So I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, my hands are dirty. I work construction, my bad. <laughs> but for, I'm gonna start drilling these holes, a little pilot hole, so that way, um, I need to check and make sure that bit, yeah, that bit will be fine. Uh, so that's, that's the next part. I'm probably going to check in with you here in a minute once all together. By the way, look at that bad boy. Yeah, I got that into impact. How maxed out is your credit card? Not as much as mine. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're uh, up to now. Once I get this done, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this down to that piece and we'll focus on getting it. Uh, on this piece You can start to see the Slate that's coming down sleep. I don't know if that's the right word. 
it's ice. Ice is coming down from the sky. So these were like this long. <laughs> So I took some bolt cutters, cut them down once I got these uh, where I wanted them. Now I am using this file. I have it clamped down to my workbench. Let me back up. I'm using my file. The SDI sent me enough, sure enough, and filing these down to where they're smooth. That's where I am. Welcome. <laughs> Going good. Um, two problems. One, I uh, did not have enough bolts. I got six for some reason. Uh, I need two more. I spaced them out appropriately. This is what we got. This is what we're working with. It seems pretty solid. I got the back ends. Uh, <laughs> uh, I took uh, some bolt cutters, cut them down to size, took a file, filed them nice and neat. Where, where there's still some threads on there to get it off if I need to. Um, not planning on that. I'll just build a new one. Uh, especially if I get to the point where I really want to <coughs> build holsters for people and whatnot. The bigger problem now, and I already came up with a solution, like in the five seconds I realized. So this is my old, the new ones over here on the clamp, the wood glue is still drying. So I'm gonna use this old piece that I end up messing up on pretty bad. Um, the problem is, is I did not think about the bolts on the other end sticking out so it won't be flush so what i've decided to do i'm gonna make this as simplistic as possible i'm going i have a bit about that size i'm going to lightly drill into this until they fit flush into it and then i'm going to screw this down into uh that block of wood um is it going to be perfect no but i will be able to get it flush and that's uh pretty solid in my mind, in my opinion, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get it marked. What I might do is set it down on top of it once it's good to go, grab my ball peen hammer and lightly tap on it. And I'll see the indents in the woods like, okay, so this is about where and try and figure it out from there. Um, this bottom piece does not have to be perfect looking because it's gonna be covered. I just need it, that top piece to fit flush. So that's what we're gonna do to get around that issue and that problem. Uh, it's not the only issue today. It's the only issue while filming and while with this set. I have a whole nother set over here I cut way too short. Uh, wrong measurements and for whatever reason I decided to do what I did. I'm proud of where we are. It's just taking some more time. So uh, let this wood glue try, dry and then we are going to go at it uh, to try and get it to fit as flush as possible with these bolts. All right. <laughs> so, wood glue dried. Four screws up top, not the zinc ones. I kept having issues stripping them out, so I used normal screws. And as far as the holes for those nuts to go into, I got a perfect first try. Uh, <laughs> no, not really, but... I knew I didn't have to look pretty, so I didn't really try. I just needed it to fit in there nice and flush so I can screw this down. So that's the next thing. <coughs> and then I'm going to take a break and go get something to eat. I already have to charge one battery. What do you know? Welcome to the end of the assignment. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> it is all done. Um, just to go over it real quick. This is it. I used the adhesive spray that uh, this Gorilla Glue stuff. And seems to be working really good. I clumped it down for about an hour. Um, here's the top part of it. I found some flathead screws. I was like, those are long enough. I didn't have any else, any others that were long enough. Boy, you can tell <laughs> that I tried my best to get them in without stripping them but you know and then use some phillips on the back just to screw it in make sure it's all good it's also made it with some uh some wood glue some gorilla glue and this is it i'm really really proud of it it's not that pretty at all and to the standards i like not great but it'll have to do so that's the end of this assignment i'm jeremiah See you.